Hey all, this is Dave Puts. We're gonna go over quickly the uh seller finance wrap note spreadsheet that we provide to you in order to buy that wrap note um and get all the numbers we need to evaluate it. As you can see on the screen here, we have this Google Sheet, uh, which you'll get either in Excel or in Google Sheet version. You're then gonna put in your email address and your phone number. Here is all the property information that we would need, just general data. The next green section here, or the scroll over, we're gonna see this is the non-wrapped loan. This is the original subject to note that you're subject to and what you're paying out every month to the bank or whoever the underlying lender is on that first lien note. We need to know if it's a mortgage, land contract, CFD, or whatever type of mortgage is, uh, type of loan it is. Uh, we need to know what the original balance was, what the lien position, is it a first, second? Um, if there are two, we would really need both, but we want to just get an idea of what the underlying liens are. We would need to know what the original term was, 360 months, you know, 240 months, whatever it is. What was the first payment date? We're trying to build an amortization schedule for the back end of this. We then would need to know what the monthly p &I is, and I'll update this to be a little bit clearer. Um, we just need to know what the monthly payment is, but we don't want the taxes and insurance on this. So p and is principal and interest only. We want to know what that number is. Take out the tax insurance. We want to know the interest rate of that underlying lien is. The note maturity date, when is it mature? What the current balance of the that underlying lien is? When's that next due date? And when was the last payment was made on that? And if the balloon information is there on the underlying lien, which is a balloon amount, what date is the balloon amount and what the date is that done? If there's a modification inside this at all, um, outside the original data, like the original loan balance, if there's a modification, we need to know a little bit more about that information. The next section here is the note you're trying to sell or lend against, hypothecate against. We need to know what that balance, that original balance of that mortgage that you created, right? You created some kind of note with that borrower. What was the original balance? What is the interest rate of that loan? What was the monthly payment, the P&I only? No tax insurance, so make sure you don't put in P-I-T-I, make just P&I. And is it interest only loan that you created or no? Right. If it's a I'm fully amortized loan, great. We need to know what the current balance is. The UPB is on this loan. What the original term is. How many months? Again, three hundred and sixty or whatnot. What the next due date is on that. What is the borrower due next for? What's the maturity date? And again, if applicable, is there a balloon at all? If so, um, what is the balloon amount? Please go through this and make sure you understand. Again, just to summarize, this spot here is truly only for the note you're looking to sell, the wrap note, while this section here is the underlying debt that you owe money to and you're making a monthly payment to. Um, and I would presume all these would have a high, lower interest rate than your wrap note. I hope this helps.